Hi, thank you for watching new video blog. Today from Rome, Italy. Finally, more and more people are realizing that the current state that we're living in is a facade. And that there is no turning around of denying it. I think because of uh, modern media and the internet, there is another message available. And the old media, television, newspapers, uh, the controlled media, it's now falling apart. People are ignoring it and I can recommend you to block everything. Also, I blocked all the newspapers on my social media. I don't even have a newspaper, of course. Television, I removed already 12 years ago. So, it is very important to do this and to follow alternative media and to block all these old media, controlled media. I think that people are starting to see now uh, there's really proof that it's not going well and people that feel trapped in a system that they don't want to be into. Now some people will say that oh, okay well, let's uh, form some political organizations to fight the system, let's uh, try to uh, get other people to think otherwise, let's try to convince the politicians to think otherwise. But I'm afraid that this is not really going to work because this is not how the system works. You, if you want to change the system, the system will still be the same because in the end the system is wrong in the core of it. And the reason why it's wrong and why the system is not good is because it's anti-nature and nature always wants to restore itself. We created a civilization like these things and you don't see any nature, the only nature there is the sky and maybe the materials that these buildings were made from. But there's no real nature, that's people, that's nature. But it's, it's lacking animals, there's no trees, there's no grass, there's no water in civilization. It's all being pushed away. You don't see anything of that in civilization. And that's the problem. We want to maintain a system that is without nature or that is barely nature. And one thing that is very important to realize is that all civilizations have come to an end in history. And the current civilization will also come to an end. And maybe this time it's not another, a, a war or a collapsing system, but it is maybe people are returning back to nature. Because slowly I see that people want to go off grid. And that is, in my opinion, also the best way to speed the transition up. By going off grid you're not feeding this current system because many people want to transform this system and they want to keep it in another form, uh, a freer form, but the system is wrong anyway. It's anti-nature, it's slavery and you don't want to feed this. If you just transform it a little bit, let's say back to the 50s, 1950s, people were still enslaved by bank and removed by nature. They lived in cities, they lived in polluted areas, they destroyed nature and this was just a progression. Civilization means always to progress, continue in destroying nature. So that's not a good system and also not in a, in, a, in a lighter form, it is not a good system. So I think that the people that are starting to go off grid are really the ones that get through of it. But I'm not sure if they do this for this reason. I, when I see people that are going off grid, mostly do it out of poverty. They just don't are tired of paying bills, they maybe cannot pay the bills, so they choose to live off grid in a remote place and where there is not the stress of having to pay the bills. But if you uh, continue this, if you are focusing on the good sides of going off grid, besides that you are not part of the slave system, it is the most appealing to any person in this world. Because everybody is longing for nature. People love to be in nature. Even here, I'm in this Vatican place, I am here because I see other people. I could also stay uh, in a nice comfortable room, but I want to be around nature and people are nature. But the most optimal is of course to be in the perfect nature with trees, with plants, with water, with clear sky and without all the stress that civilization has. So by going off grid is the way of slowly getting this system removed. You can slowly help it 
fall apart. Because if you're not feeding the system, if you're not working, if you're not paying taxes, if you're not maintaining it by consuming, slowly the system will crumble. And this is a very important reali realization that you should have. Because the system needs you. You don't need the system. You can always go back to nature and to live on what nature gives you. Hunter, gatherer. You can make your own place by cutting down some trees, by using some other uh, things that you find in nature. You don't need the system. The system needs you. The system needs you because they leech off of you by taxes of your labor. They have enslaved you. Imagine that uh, the slaves, they uh, run away from the, the place that they are being enslaved to. Of course, there will not be any business soon. But the problem is that the slaves are mostly comfortable in staying in this place. At least comfortable enough to stay in this place because they don't know how to survive outside of the place where they have been enslaved. So going off grid, back to nature, the primitive lifestyle, primal lifestyle is the best way of letting the system crumble. Forget about wars, forget about political uh, parties, forget about uh, movements, forget about anything like this. The only movement that you should have is moving out of the city into the country, into nature. Build your own forest uh, with permaculture, for example. And that is the way of living freely. No more taxes to pay because you are you have your own water, you have your own roof over your head. You can hunt, you can gather and you stay alive. You can have a family, you can support it, you don't have to worry about uh, paying anything anymore. Clothes you can make out of the animals that you hunt. But most of the time when it's good weather you don't even need a lot of clothes. So the best way of crumbling the system is by getting out of it. It's very easy. You don't, there doesn't have to be any bloodshed, there doesn't have to be any fight, there doesn't have to be any political movement. It's all that's just all keeping the system alive. Another political party, another way of keeping the system that is wrong going. People want to get out of the system now. And that is very positive. I'm really happy to see this. They want to go back to nature also because it's the spiritual need. In nature they feel completed spiritually. You give to nature, nature gives you back. Here you are not getting a lot. You're just probably receiving a lot stress a polluted from polluted air or from uh, radiation that's around you and you're not really able to load off your stress and to get the messages from nature back to you so once once again going off grid is the best way to crumble the system because you're not feeding it anymore you, the system needs you more than you need the system you don't need the system at all you can get out of the system and the system will crumble uh, because you're not getting them any food anymore. So that was it for today. Thank you for watching and from Rome, Italy, SA. See you next time.